ओम शांति इन द सीरीज ऑफ बियॉन क्वेश्चन एपिसोड थर्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन हाउ टू डू प्राइस चित वॉट अ वेस्ट टू रिड्यूस वेट ऑफ विक्रम सो द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू रिपेंट हाउ टू डू रिपेंटेंस and what are the ways to reduce the weight of vikram so what are we to do for repentance how should we repent what is the method methodology what is the way manner or technique technique is not a good word but how should, how should we repent first of all confession first of all confession acceptance of the sin or acceptance of the wrong doing acceptance of the mistakes or whatever you have done which is against shrimat in next sunday's murli baba has given a very good method and uh, i feel that should be called shrimat method he has described four different types of actions first are ordinary actions second are wasteful action third is sinful action and fourth is elevated actions so how do you know that out of these four what i am doing any action which is done as per shrimat is elevated action so let us call this shrimat method this is known as shrimat method of checking any action which we do if that is in in conformation with shrimat that is in accordance with shrimat that is elevated action okay so here how to do prayashchit so the first thing is confession first thing is confession you have to confess at some point or other that you have done this this confession may not be in front of others but yes you can confess straight away in front of god st francis uh no not st francis uh, this confession of st augustine st augustine has written a book confessions of st augustine this book is so important in christianity it is almost next to bible almost next to bible what this book consists of here st augustine is confessing all the sins which he has committed in his life whatever he did from childhood whatever im acts of immorality whatever he did he confessed each one of them in that book so that is the first step is confession acceptance yes we have done it and then later on what is the next step that is a little farther away then so what should be done for that anything for that matter you feel something is sinful something is wrong sinful was not good anything was done and now you want to do prashit is a bigger word actually uh, pashatap is another word which is little smaller pashatap and another is prashit repentance so first of as we said conf- confession next is uh, and so what are the ways you can write a letter these are the different ways or you can just communicate or uh, verbally orally or mentally in front of the person whom you with before you want to do prayashit on here in this case straight away in front of baba okay then pledge a pledge not to commit the same thing again a strong pledge a determined pledge is required an oath a pledge a determined thought pratigya whatever you call it that is required so that you don't repent that thing again then punish yourself sometime but that punishment should be something uh, not uh, inducing some other uh, distraction means like some other thing should not come for example if you miss amrit vela people what they do they miss their breakfast this is what they punish themselves they have not done amrit vela let us not uh, eat food but by 1 o'clock or by 2 o'clock they are so hungry and with that voracious hunger drives them crazy and they are just they pounce upon that food and they eat they over eat so this should not happen you have to, you have missed the breakfast because you missed amrit vela but now the deep this your that appetite has been so sharpened that you can't just control yourself so there you did not take uh, your breakfast that's fine but here you are overeating or you are uh, rather giving up self control so this should not be that is not an act of pashata punishing ourselves means how do you punish ourselves ha huh? more meditation yeah punish if you want to punish make it a point that you sit in meditation sitting meditation should be 4 hours that day 
If you want to punish reading Murli, use all the 26 methods or 34 methods or even 40 methods. This is the biggest and this is one of the most profitable punishment. If you want to punish yourself, let's say that I will use all this 40, I have made it 40, 40 methods of uh, Murli reading in today's Murli. We will apply each and every method. So that is the biggest punishment. Such punishment, punishment related to Jnana and Yoga, those should be done. Otherwise, they have disastrous results. Such punishments. Punishments of churning, punishment of writing on some topic, something like that. Okay, so what else? Confession, acceptance, then writing, then pledge, and then self-punishment. What else? How do you do prayashit? Or repentance, it is also known as contrition in English. Contrite spirit. I am a contrite spirit. Means the one who wants to repent. What else? What else? What can be done? Change the place. Okay. Change of atmosphere, changing atmosphere. So, what else? Deep churning, deep contemplation, deep self analysis. All those things are required. And then, whatever you did, one more step is there. What do I learn from that? Okay, I did the mistake, I committed the mistake, that crime was perpetuated, but was there any hidden lesson in that? Let's take that. Extract that lesson from that uh, chapter of life. Learn from that and go ahead. Other is, now put a full stop. Pashatap means it is only one. It's not that every day you keep on doing repenting. Every day, a whole life is a series of repentance. That should not happen. Repentance means only once. But that should be very deep. Very deep. With deep analysis, self-analysis, self-checking, self-contemplation, and uh, churning on it, and thinking why this happened. What, suppose I, I was given two options and I acted in this manner. If suppose I would have acted in another manner, what would have been the results? This is a retrospective analysis. So, one more thing is retrospective analysis. Go back to the event and analyze it. One more thing which should be done in yoga, that is, in the yoga, many people describe that they have done lot of things and now that has become habit. Recently one sister had come and she was sharing that her husband is dead long back, had left the body, but whenever she comes in Madhuban, in that Shanti stump she sees his he is standing there. He is crying, he is shouting, something like that. One sister I met somewhere in Delhi, she was sharing with me that whenever she, she sits in yoga, she hears a voice from behind. Something like that. Somebody is shouting and it's a very threatening voice. And that voice seems familiar. Perhaps somebody dead long back in the family. So these are the things, okay? I am not talking directly related to Pashyata, but these are some of the things, all the things that happened in the past. Now what you have to do, while you sit in yoga, bring those situations back. Enter into those situations and neutralize them. If suppose this sister, voice is coming, probably somebody who is dead long back, go back and analyze what were my relation with him or her and neutralize. Somebody who is dead and you are seeing his apparition or form in front of you. Why? Somebody is coming and some hands are coming and holding your neck. Something like that. People get all sorts of these things. Then they know that this is hallucinations. But still they are getting all these things. So why? So something has to be done like that. The same thing has to be done for some vikarma or some sinful action which was done in the past. Imagine that. Enter into that and neutralize it. See that it is getting burned to ashes in front of your eyes. Some some power is coming from your eyes or Baba is giving you that power and helping you to burn everything, even the memory, not a shred of those, uh, not a trace of that memory should stay. Everything should get extinguished. So, something has to be done during the stages of meditation. This is a very, very difficult task, but it should be done. Because, in the meditation you are in a bodiless stage and that situation which has happened in the past you are bringing it in front of your eyes again. Otherwise throughout the day it keeps on coming on its own. 
but now you are bringing consciously you are bringing it consciously suppose 10 years back somebody uh, insulted me okay i think i have forgotten it but some uh, all of a sudden that person comes in front of me and all that ill feeling arises in me so that means it was there it means what i have to do now i have to bring that back and neutralize it so whether it is some ill feeling for somebody or some sinful action for which we want to do prayashchit or pashchatap or repentance or it is some something of the past which is harrowing which is disturbing you bugging you day in day out something like that all those things you should bring in front of mind and neutralize so that could be also one of the way any other thing what are the ways to reduce weight of vikarma all this gyan yoga is for that only <laughs> sinful action next sunday murli baba has said two words one is you renounce sinful action and second you become conqueror of sinful action vikarma jeet you conquer those sinful actions means they are no more there now though i am just thinking of this word what does baba mean when he says vikarma jeet how to conquer sinful action one is to renounce to give up or to destroy what is the meaning of the word to conquer vikarma jeet sinful actions so that's the topic for journey so all this whatever we are doing this purusha this effort is everything for reducing this weight of vikarma and the best way is being bodiless to stay in supreme abode param dham for longer period of time that is the best and the ultimate way of reducing all the sins because when we are in bodiless stage most of the impression which is in the subconscious mind or brain that you know everything starts getting neutralized one way is to churn about it churn about it churn about it think about it make plans and do implement the plans other is to just become bodiless the moment you become bodiless everything starts getting all the vikarmas all the past memories hurtful memories all the hallucinating memories haunting memories everything will get uh, destroyed gradually so one of the best ways bodiless stage feed stage volcanic yoga other is trend, next question question number 20 i am a kumari staying with my father and sister my father is retired and sister is serving i am serve, staying at home only i am in gyan since my childhood but right from childhood we suffered a lot from bk family from my childhood we suffered a lot from bk family and never get never got proper guidance for yoga and gyan only seva and seva now we are not much attached to the center we just go to the center listen to murli uh we have listened to the classes here and we feel lot of enthusiasm but afterwards everything becomes soda water i don't watch tv no smartphone no wastage but still in my life there is no enthusiasm and purush enthusiasm for purushat every day i want to do some purushat but can't do anything when sits in yoga no feeling feeling bored my question is what should i do to bring enthusiasm and zeal in my purushat and stay constantly in remembrance of baba or experiences company all the time so this is to is in gyan since childhood and she says that she had a very bad experiences with bk family earlier they used to go to center every day now they go to center listen to murli and come back they have heard some of the purushart classes and they feel lot of enthusiasm while hearing but after hearing again everything becomes uh thoda water is the word she has used and now the question is how to pump zeal and enthusiasm into life so what should we do how to increase zeal and enthusiasm rather than concentrating on other things which she has written because she has very specifically said the question is how to increase zeal and enthusiasm among and utsa in brahmin life what to do stop <laughs> stop watching others first of all stop becoming judge stop becoming judge stop watching others stop this eye of parchintan and pardarshan okay next to so have gyan chintan increase your timing of gyan chintan most important thing many people are doing gyan chintan but how much time they do half an hour that's it is that enough if you do 8 hours gyan chintan at least then you can have 4 hours yoga it's a continuous process of course yeah ha so 
you have to increase it you have to make churning an integral part of your life unless and until you do this you are gain your consist of listening classes going to murli that's it that doesn't take you anywhere and that's good it's like a bhakti ras you feel you like to listen but then unless and until you yourself churn nothing is going to happen okay so one is increasing churning time and quality of churning okay next have faith in baba that is there she is in gyan since childhood that is a relationship method take any relationship and with that relationship view the murli or have okay and the question is again i'm repeating enthusiasm how to become enthusiastic for purushat some creativity has to be there unless and until you bring creativity newness in brahmin life you cannot you the life will become dull and drab everything will become boredom how many times you we have heard the same thing in murli father has come he has come to make you pure from impure you have to go to golden age uh, destruction is in front of your eyes everything will get destroyed you have to do service we have heard this time out of number the same thing so there has to be creativity there has to be creativity in gyan in yoga in dharana in service the other day we were discussing about how to make the atmosphere of center powerful we said soul car and atm in that n is the word for newness in service and self progress so we have to bring newness creativity okay And then what is how to bring enthusiasm in brahmin life kamlesh ha huh? teaching what okay teaching others okay then what is godly service that we said bringing newness increasing one's reading self study okay listening to somebody's experience here yeah. ha huh. listening to somebody's experience or reading those books uh, which have got experience based books there are lot many books available nowadays okay then so remaining in contact with good teachers yes yeah, that's a very good thing <laughs> Yeah, remaining in contact with good teacher or good purusharthis good effort makers then prakash bhai how to bring enthusiasm what one point ha ah, so all those you should always have the company of those who are in a very good stage they are doing good purusha they have good stage uh, they are interested in gyan and yoga they are not interested in all the wasteful things then Okay, so do do some creative activities, spiritual activities or creative activities. Prepare blessing cards or decorate a pot or something like that. Any decorative things or creativity, creative things. It should be used for seva. Then uh, start writing on some topic. Take one topic every day. Use topic method. Take a topic and start writing on it. Though this is a very uncomfortable job, mind resists. mind says no i don't want to write why i should write people have written books already so many books are there increasing the burden of earth why i should add one more <laughs> changing place yeah he told mm-hmm. then enthusiasm life has become boring no desire for anything listen this is very good you have to listen music create music if, if you are capable of listen songs write songs write poetry go near nature nature will teach you so many things nature is so rich existence is very rich it is never empty it is never uh, it has got something or other to give you go to some beach next sunday's murli party number 1 baba has said that this ocean is in front of you You sit near ocean, and ocean always has got so many treasures. So take whatever treasures you want from this ocean. So go and sit near the shore of an ocean. Gross as as well as subtle. Gross also if you have ocean in your city or your place or your village, it's not possible every time to have ocean. But if you have an ocean, if you have a sea, you should go to those beach and sit there, spend some time. Means. Uh, Uh, we have to be near nature that will bring enthusiasm in life what else 
हट एंड भट्टी प्रोग्राम सीएस इफ एट ऑल दे आर नॉट देर देन वेट फॉर देम या देस टोल दैट चेंज द प्लेस दैट इज देर ओके सो हट एंड भट्टी प्रोग्राम इफ सपोज देर इज नो भट्टी प्रोग्राम देन इफ एट ऑल इट इज नॉट देर देन मेक योर ओन प्रोग्राम मेक अ थ्री डेज प्रोग्राम ओके मेक योर ओन थ्री डेज प्रोग्राम यू राइट डाउन यूर चार्ट दिस एंड दिस डे दिस क्लास यू कैन डाउनलोड दैट क्लास एंड कीप रेडी एंड मेक यूर ओन क्लास और यू हैव सो मेनी क्लासेस हियर एंड देर यू कैन हैव देम एंड से दैट नाइन टू टेन आई विल लिसन दिस क्लास देन आई विल टेक गैप दिस इज टीडियस टास्क बट इट कैन बी डन इफ समी वॉन्ट्स टू डू ही कैन डू दिस ही कैन क्रिएट एटलीस्ट वन डे बट्टी इन दैट ही विल लिसन थ्री क्लासेस वन आवर योगा एंड वन आवर चर्निंग Writing, ah, different self-respect. You can take and do it. Yeah, that is one of the way to become biyajit. Okay, then what is uh, different programs? Okay, you can sometimes if you are in Madhuban, you can visit. Sometimes you can go to museum. Sometimes go to Gansar or sometimes go. Sometimes go for a picnic in jungle and do yoga there on the rocks, on the mountains, sea, ocean, anywhere. So go for a picnic or spiritual tour, or go to different centers. That also is one of the ways of bringing back enthusiasm. Then, what else? Some courses, positive thinking course or this course or that course. If at all, a lot of courses are nowadays existing. Uh, that MBA and that value education, something that will make you busy. So the the purpose is you should become busy. Have some good books. some good books and engage yourself in reading those books take out some points notes from classes as well people what they do they listen classes and they say it was very good that's not the way find out while you listen to a class sit with a book and a paper pause it write down the point then again on it write down the point again pause it at least 10 points you will come out now forget that class take this 10 point and churn on those 10 points now you need not to listen that class again okay so because you have already extracted so throw the skin of the banana and eat banana what do you what you have to do with that skin take out the content the matter <laughs> rejoice so that is one of the way dancing baba has said one of the murlis if you get depressed go in bathroom and dance play games which games spiritual games <laughs> rajyo games or spiritual games or create games or create your own spiritual activity at home or in center If our sisters are there, they can create their spiritual activity. If uh, somebody is staying in household, they can create some spiritual activity there at home. So creating spiritual activities, okay? Then, ha, huh, you can go them and uh, you can learn many things from them or teach many things to them. Both things would be there. Uh, if at all you are totally bored, give a seven-day course to somebody. Has uh, you listen to Seva Samacha? Has you listen to this service news? Or uh, as I said, give seven day course. That is the best way. And but what to do in that three days? But what to do in that three days? Those three days can become dangerous. They will pull you to all the your past habits and sanskars or your tendencies, and they can pull you into vikarma also. No, 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 no. You cannot keep yourself free. If you keep yourself free. and there is a boredom there is a dangerous this is a dangerous situation you those sanskars are very powerful inimical they will pull you back that's why you have to occupy yourself with positive or something some positive or creative outside otherwise you are gone anything else in last point for silence Okay, so three things: silence, solitude, introversion. So that will come in bhakti also, but you can practice these things. Then, what else? How to stay in constantly in remembrance of Baba? Actually, people focus so much on yoga, but they focus so less on gyan. Stay occupied with gyan. There is more benefit. Recently, there was a one Sakar Murli where Baba said that remembering gyan is more beneficial than remembering Baba. and actually when you remember gyan automatically you remember the one who 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 is imparting this gyan who is relating this gyan who is bestowing this gyan so increase your interest in gyan that's the thing 
and one more thing start discussing begin a discussion group have a discussion group only two people are required for discussion not so many sit with somebody if you don't have anybody you can have discussion with a child if you don't have anybody have discussion on phone with somebody who is kyani at least 10 minutes every day or even more so gyan discussion gyan charcha is very important part integral part of this uh, brahmini life so i think that answers the question